Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we're going to do a little tough love. Now, I get a lot of emails from you guys, and pretty frequently I get gigantic attachments. And look, you've gotten these in your email too, when your aunt or uncle sends you a photo, and it's gigantic and takes you 30 seconds to download. Nobody needs this. Now, sure, working on illustrations at large resolution is good. Here, this image I'm working on, you can see with the image size is 2600 pixels wide. And that's fine. It might even be higher depending on what you're working on. But there's a difference between the way I work on it and what I want to show someone on the other end of the computer. For instance, most monitors are not 2600 pixels wide. You can go online and find out what the common monitor resolutions are, but as a safe bet, 1920 pixels wide is absolutely the widest you need to do. If you've ever heard the words 1080p, that is the resolution. Even on the biggest monitors, this is going to look just fine. But it can be a pain to save out images with a different resolution than the one that you painted it with. Unless you use save for web. You are going to grow to love this command, but you're probably not using it right now. It also has my favorite keyboard shortcut of them all, the one I like to call the bear claw, which is Control alt shift s And what you see here is a preview of the result and you have a whole bunch of settings over here on the right. So if I said, I want it to be 1920 pixels wide, I can just change that value right there. It keeps my aspect ratio the same, and here it tells me that that's about 74% of the size that my original is. I can also tell it what sort of file type I want. JPEG is gonna be fine unless you need transparency. You can change the quality slider. Again, all of this can be previewed here in the preview window. And then when you're ready, you hit save. This does not change your original image. It just temporarily applies all these settings, saves out a JPEG, and leaves your original untouched. But where it gets even better is that you can save all these settings as a preset. So here you do save settings, give it a name, and then anytime you need to save out a 1920 wide image, all you do is pull up the pull down and then hit save. And this can be really great because sometimes you need a variety of different sizes for the same image. Like if you have a portfolio website that has both thumbnail images and full size images, there's probably some standard width that you need your thumbnails to be. And it is a huge pain to have to do that manually with copy and paste and new documents. Forget all that. All you need to do is set up as few presets based on the sizes that you generally save as, or potentially the file formats that you generally save as, and then it makes this process a breeze. All you ever need is your master copy, the one you actually work on, in the Save for Web window, and you'll get all the output files you need, and no one is going to spend 30 seconds downloading your gigantic file again. So please, please, please save your images as a reasonable resolution for the web. Keep them high res for home, keep them low res for the web. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.